hey friends so Cricut Design Space has a new tool it's called the warp tool so this is not a tool you're going to use every day but if you kind of like that retro vibe or putting text inside of a shape you're going to want to check this out let's hop into it by the way if you're new here you're crafting with Kim Byers okay so first things first where do we find the warp tool in Cricut Design Space so when you're on desktop it looks a little bit different than it does on mobile in desktop it's going to be in your top navigation on mobile you're going to find it under actions and so on the desktop let's just look here so we look across the top and we we see warp is there but it is grayed out so what you need to do is open up a text box and let's just move our text box over and we're going to type the word love and now you can look across the top and you see that warp is available now if I were opening this up into a double layer font or two layers three layers it's not going to show so warp is not going to show don't don't frustrate yourself here make sure that you have a font open that is single layer so this is a single layer font and here's our warp tool so if we click on this you're going to be able to see 24 versions of warp so let's run through them real quick okay in all of these 24 versions you notice here you have an adjustment bar so you're going to be able to adjust how much or how little you want to warp your font. So cool, right? Okay, so let's keep talking about what we can do with the warp tool. So we can um, change our colors of our fonts just like we can with anything else. We can um, click in it after it's been warped and change the word. And when we click off our warp tool, it goes right back to the way that we had it warped, which is fantastic so you don't have to remake things you can also offset your design so you can go up and apply an offset to that how sweet is that right this is awesome and so you can do all of those things what you cannot do we're not going to be able to use the combine tools we can undo our warp right there but we are not going to be able to use the other combine tools we are also not going to be able and let's just duplicate our little flower here we're not going to be able to warp an image so if you look into the upper navigation you'll see that warp is missing so we're not going to be able to warp an image or a shape okay so one important thing I want to share with you about the warp tool it's only available to Cricut access members or Cricut access subscribers if you are interested in Cricut access I have a link down below that you can pop down and check that out it is roughly ten dollars a month um, you get thousands of thousands and thousands of images and fonts and access to really cool tools like this let's talk about what we can make with this really cool warp tool so we can make things like this so I just wrote out the word love and then like and then Jesus and warped them into more of a, a circular and I pulled in some little retro flowers these are just from Cricut Access by the way I will put the link to this in my uh, design space profile down below if you guys want to grab any of these um, and edit them and make them your own and then this is actually an image from Cricut Design Space but if you wanted to you could grab just the fish which is what this is this is just the fish behind it and then I warped the word Jesus across the front and then I took it one step further and I welded the two together so now this is going to cut as one the other things that you can do is you can go in and grab um, in the shapes I just went in and grabbed a banner shape it's right here so I grabbed that banner and then I put lettering on top of it and so I wrote out the word congrats and then I used the kind of wave version of the warp tool so if we go up here so see this is number 11 this is the one I selected and then I just um, made the the wave as tall as it needed to be I do want to point one thing out though <clears throat> do you notice how the wave is the wrong direction and you're like oh that's not good and there's not another one in the shapes but it's an easy fix guys you just go up into flip and then we're just going to flip that wave and so we can then make it as large as it needs to be change the colors all the fun things and you have a perfect little project put that on a card you can make it a little banner and actually my oldest is graduating from high school this summer I cannot believe it's happening to me guys um, and we are having a graduation party for him and so I thought it would be really fun to make these little pennants 
and put them on some of the food tables around our little gathering. And so what I did is I, I wrote out his name and then I warped, so let's see if I can grab, there we go, and then I warped um, it with this pennant and you can, again, you, as much or as little as you want it to be so that it works. And I actually think I'm going to use this version where the X is maybe not quite as squished. How fun. Guys, there's so much you can do with the warp tool. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you'll stick around and check out uh, more things that you can do in Cricut Design Space.